Hello everyone and welcome back to the Elections SBA. In this video, we will be looking at how to generate the report. Now, for this SBA, they say you are to generate a report which lists the constituency, number of voters in the constituency, name of candidates, that's first name and last name, gender, party and number of votes received. We're going to go to the database now but in order for us to do this easily what we're going to do is we're going to be using a query to generate all of that data and then we'll use the query to create the report so let's look to see what we have so we're supposed to have just starting this out so we can get a chance to see what is supposed to be inside of the query So now, we need to go ahead and go straight to create and select query design. Query design. Now, based on what we are asked to add to the report, we are going to need a constituency table. We are going to need the candidate table well it seems we're going to need possibly just those two tables for the time being so let's just add those two tables and see what happens so we select the two tables click add then we're going to close so we're supposed to add the constituency the cons and the number of voters in the constituency so from the constituency table at the constituency name by double clicking double click on number of voters then we're supposed to add name of candidates so we're going to be taking that from the candidate personal data table first name last name then gender and party gender gender party and the number of votes received that's the last thing that we are adding No, we're not going to look at the part that says the report should be grouped by a constituency and then how it must be sorted. We are not interested in that at this stage. What we're interested in is gathering the data from the database. Once we have done that and we start the process of creating a report, we will start now to look at the sorting and the grouping and the summary features. So this is what our query is going to pull out. So we're going to run the query and we're going to save this query as report query. So that's your report query. Of course, we will have to adjust the votes received. So we're going to go back, right click on the report query, go to the design view. We're going to right click on votes received, <coughs> select properties. Then we're going to select the format option, drop it down, select standard, and we're going to set the decimal places to zero. We're going to save that, run the query again and again. We notice that the decimal places have disappeared. No, we are ready to do the report. So we are going to right click on the query and we are going to say close. We are ready to start the report so we go to the create tab and then we are going to be using the report wizard which is here. We click on the report wizard. Then we are going to choose the query that we just created. Scroll down and look for report query. Once you have selected the report query, we are going to use the double arrow which means to add all fields. If you were creating a report that you did not need to add all the fields, then you'd have selected each field that you will need in the report and click on the single arrow. But in this case, we're using all the fields, so we're gonna click on the double arrow. Then next, how do you want to view your data? We're going to leave it for, for the time being and go to next. They ask, how do you want to group it? In the question, it says, the report should be grouped by a constituency. So we ensure that we have constituency there as the grouping order. I'm going to go back and set the view by constituency. Data table then next. And then the grouping of course is by constituency name. Then they ask us to, so now that we have set the grouping levels, we're going to go to next. And then we are putting the sorting. The sorting says, 
we are supposed to sort the report in descending order by number of votes received by each candidate. That's this section right here. So I'm going to go select votes received and I'm going to change it from ascending to descending. The next thing it says it should give the total and average number of votes in each constituency. In order to do that, we're going to click on the summary options button. That's this button below the sort section. And then we're going to check notice votes received is here. So we're going to check the sum and check the average. Once we have done that, click OK and then we go to next. Once we have gone to next, we're going to change the orientation to landscape to ensure that the data fits on the page. And then we're going to go to next. Go through and select one of the different options. I'm going to use concourse, that's one I like. And then I'm going to select next. I'm now going to save it as elections report. And then click finish. Now this is going to give you a preview of what your report is going to look like. Now, when you look at your report, you should see the grouping based on constituency name as I have it here east, and it's supposed to be in descending order in terms of number of votes received. So, you notice that it's in alphabetical order based on constituency. And if you look at the votes, it's in descending order with the highest votes at the top here, with the lowest number of votes at the bottom, and that is your report. However, the question did state that you are to have the two-line title as follows official results trinbar jam elections commission now i'm going to just highlight the heading i'm going to right click and i'm going to copy it i'm going to go back to the report now i'm going to have to make this change in the design view so i'm going to right click on the report select design view then i'm going to go to the top where the heading is i'm going to adjust the header by placing my mouse just at the top of the header and clicking and dragging down to give more space. All I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the words elections report. I'm going to hold on the control key and press V. Control V means paste. Then I can easily adjust the size of the text box by widening it. I'm going to widen it based all the way down to the end where I have the last field. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to also highlight the text and I'm going to go to the center align icon and I'm going to center the text. You can, of course, take off the quotation marks. These are not necessary. And there you have your two line header. You are to save your report. And then you can right click and go back to report view. When you go back to report view, you will see all of what you had seen before. Know that now the, the heading is in two separate lines. Scroll down through your report to ensure that all the summary features are there. Remember, you had added sum as well as average. And then there should be a grand total at the bottom, which is this. Now, if your report is not looking as neatly as mine is looking, there's always the option of adjusting the width of these individual columns. Easiest way to do it is to go to the layout view. So, right click on elections report layout view and you can click on each of these headings and you can adjust the width for example mine is a bit wide so i'm going to bring it in a little bit the gender is too wide as well bring that in a little party is fine where it is first name votes received all the others are okay and i'm going to leave them as they are just double check on the constituency names to ensure that each of them is showing and they are not being cut off in the column where they are and that's it that is how we create a report in microsoft office access